receive by the adorns early light. Hello! What's up, everybody? Welcome to my stream. Oh! Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome to me doing art. Yeah, that's right. Hold up. Need to find a na 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 music. Thanks. Where the fuck is it? I'm trying to find some good piano music. Someone's got 59 million fucking views. Who listens to piano that much? What are you, a fucking F word? Hmm? <laughs> what are you, fucking stupid? Hold up. Wait. Dude, I know better. We'll, we'll play some piano music, but I got a better one. I got a better one. Uh, it's gonna be ape escape music. That just makes sense. People that think they're better than everyone, obviously. Well, then I also fit that category. <laughs> Cause I'm, I'm, I'm the same. Oh, ape escape piano music. Dude, that'd be sick. Could you imagine if someone ran the ape escape music through like a a bot or some shit that transferred it over. It was like, oh, this is now piano, a bass, group, and a music. I'll run the regular piano music for now. I need to find some references, even though I kind of already do have some references. I need like some other ones. I've been wanting to make a monkey OC for a I don't know if it'll be like that, but Yeah. Oh, oh. Merry Christmas. How is it going, party people? How's it fucking going? What the? what the fuck is going on? Fucking porn. I oh, thought I just went wonky. <laughs> there is apescape music on piano. Someone did it. What do you mean? Send it to me. I need this. I need this more than you do. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not gonna, gonna have to fucking use some fucking raunchy images. Okay. Listen, it's not what I want. It's simply what has to be. These viruses? Could this be a virus? I kind of want a variety. You know? Can't just be one type of. Gotta be. A, gotta be a variety. Variety among. Well, that's a good one. But, I don't know. That doesn't look uh, safe for work. Even though there's nothing initially wrong with it. There's nothing... You know, it, it don't look so far. 
Monkey, monkey, monkey. Monkey, 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 monkey. Thank you. And might I just say, Merry Christmas. Bikinis are allowed on here, right? Which? There's also a DJ mix I found. <laughs> fuck. The fuck? Monkey. Monkey. This is one I want to look up. There's a different type of monkey. Like, ah. Oh. That'd be a good monkey reference. Good. Hamburger. I'll go, I'll go look for her. <laughs> okay. What the fuck? Look at all these monkeys. I like, it's, it's just like a human. Essentially, what I'm learning from. Okay, I think that's enough monkey. Oh, DJ messages. Let's pop on one of them old kicks. Hamburger. Thanks. All right. Let me all pop it open. Copy. Paste the. Hey, <laughs> escape. All of horoscope. Ah, uh, dude, it's from Rape Escape 3. <laughs> I remember this. To be fair, it is a pretty, pretty catchy tune. Ugh. Ape tunes? Why is this called ape tunes? <laughs> Who the fuck is ape? Let me see if this is any good. It doesn't really sound like uh, like a monkey, you know.
There's like a lot of different ones. What's this? On this day, on this day. Stop! <laughs> the fucking poo poo doo doo. Actually. Okay. Every everyone just wants to brain rob me. We'll, we'll listen to some bits at radio. Gucci. Here it is. There it is. Not even on this day. It's understand. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, it is. No. <laughs> Okay. okay, one moment. I'm getting the rest of the monkey refs. One moment. It's literally time for monkey. Thank you. All right. On this day, not understand, 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 understand the concept of love. Monkey. Now, I don't want everyone to judge me. I don't want people to judge me, but I got some raunchy little fucking images. Is there a cute monkey? Okay, fine. You want a monkey? There you go. Monkey. <laughs> I, I I kind of forgot they already have a monkey in here. <laughs> Peter judged hacking. I fucking can't stand Crash. I can't stand her. What? Just need authority to cheat. All right. That's enough. Fuck that lady. Okay. Listen. All I'm saying. You know what? 
I could be a real fucking real piece of shit, okay? You wanna know what I could do? I could fucking name I could name this monkey crash and then let it get fucked. That's how that's how petty I could get, how disgusting I could get. As soon as you started saying when I could be a real piece of shit and crashed, his sister wife came in. You're fucked, you're, you're done. You're done for. Go on, go on. You wanna fight me, Fox? Go ahead. <laughs> hey. hey, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> what's what happening here? Um, First of all, fuck you. Crash is Second calling off, me a cheater you. and a hacker <laughs> in the fucking the chat. He's making fun of me, Fox. Are you getting called out? Yeah. Then I'm threatening to name this monkey after her and then have her get fucked. Cool. It's oh, revenge. That's a, that's a, how, you <laughs> how, how is your food, Fox? Okay, this, is, this is pretty good. We had cake. Ooh. Cake with our tea. Oh, is he's that a monkey. Mexican? I don't know. With huge tits? I, I just looked up monkey on E621 and I. Oh. I, uh. What was it? I did the, I did the very biggest. Big Gazanda. Did some big Gazanka right there, that's some big helmet for. Oh, fuck. Now, given uh, that. Probably not gonna look anything like any of these monkeys. But I can try. Monkeys. The we have to decide right now. Okay, there's two ways that we can go with this. We can either go with the balloons style monkey, which is like a chibi version, you know, here. Yeah. They got big fucking square heads. Or we can go with normal woman portions, which would I'll just I'll just do thick figures. I get the I get the feeling that the the chibi looking one would be more disturbing. Is that what you're going for? Yeah, we we also have to consider that we're we're doing this in my 3D way, which usually turns out pretty disturbing as is. So either. <laughs> Like regular well, woman proportion. Red election for 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 sex. I was just going like somewhere along the middle, like uh, shorter proportions with big tits and big ass. Yeah. There you go. Pretty long stuff. We want to. What kind of reaction you want to get out of this? I don't know. I just want people to think, "Damn, that's a hot monkey." Thick all the way. Yeah. Well, the thick was already gonna be part of it, but I need to decide if it's gonna be a short thick or a regular thick. Yeah, regular thick will get more people looking at it. All right. I'm gonna try my damnedest. I'll try my best. Damn this hard. What were you doing? What were you doing in the, the, the other the, the other voice channel? Crash. Crash. Wow. I wasn't by myself originally. He was yeah. talking evil evil plans with the loop more than likely. That's exactly uh. what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the car ready, we're gonna kidnap Justin. Are you going to give the monkey uh, baby you know oil really? and name it Diddy? I'm packing the snacks. <laughs> <laughs> that was a kind of good point. Oh, why are you holding the bottle of lube? What the fuck? A bottle of lube? That's not gonna be enough. We need a gallon drum. <laughs> At least seven of them. Yeah. Lock her out of it. Got a big estate bed up in town.
Check me out, y'all. Set radio future music. What, what was the name of that game, Justy, that you played the other day? That was Jet Set Radio Spiritual Successor, basically? Oh, uh, uh, Bomb Rush Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk. Yeah, that's, that's what I was going to buy. I'm going to buy that right now because I'm, I'm, in, I'm in a Jet Set Radio mood and I played Jet Set Radio last night. Oh, 33.50? Ah, you know what? I think I'll... <laughs> I, I think I'll cast some spells real quick. Spells going. Uh, I've cast a spell. Uh, the spell name is Steam Unlocked. So you gonna dig this? That's a very powerful spell. That is a powerful spell, yeah. Even more powerful when you've got the premium uh, download version of the spell. Casting a level five, okay. <laughs> We're casting fireballs. You cast it. What am I doing? What's the wrong fucking to do this? Is there a couch? <laughs> oh, is, it black? is that a black casting couch? <laughs> he said you cast it. I think the couch needs to be involved. He cast it. Now I gotta set up an... a laundromat simulator? What? Money longer. I'm pretty fucking late. Did any of y'all grab uh, Ghostwire Tokyo whenever it went uh, free? Nope. I did. Have you played it yet? Uh, only a little bit. Yeah, to the like second cutscene. Mm. Did you see That's your sister? sister? Yeah. <laughs> I still don't understand the point of that story. Though I already played it. <laughs> oh, really? Damn. I mean, I really like it, to be honest. Oh. I have it for PS5 or is it PS4? I think it's PS4. Uh, just haven't played it yet. Uh, Ghostwire? I think it's. Uh... Oh, actually, I think it's. Yeah, I, think it's I can't remember. It's on my shelf. It's on my shelf somewhere. Uh, I can't remember if it's the PS4 version or PS5 version. I have. I don't know if that exists. I think it's PS4. Uh, well, it came out. I think in 2021. Okay, yeah, it's PS5 then. All right. Yep. It'll still be in the, the plastic the plastic wrapping. I have a problem. <laughs> I have a severe problem. <laughs> I like the look at games that work. Have the intention of playing them? Hmm. I wonder. No, I, I, but I have the intention of playing them. Just not just not right now. Uh, <laughs> I just I just like I, like I'm I, like I'm on break at lunch, like at work, and I'm out and I'm out and about in the city, and I go into a store and I'm like. Oh, that artwork looks really fucking cool. Or oh, I've heard of that game, and I'll buy it, and I'll be like, oh, I'm gonna play this. Then I sit down, I fall asleep in my chair, forget about it. Oh, <laughs> yep. And at the weekend, I'm like, I'm gonna play all these games. And I'm just like, oh, well, got to tune in and just these two. No, no, you can't <laughs> use me as a crutch. Yeah, you, you, you can't use me as a fucking crutch. <laughs>
I superior overlord trusty. <laughs> Let them play your fucking game. And you set yourself a limitation. Like my limitation is when my ass hits the seat, I'm sleeping. <laughs> We're not sleeping right now. <laughs> this is actually an intervention. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have a problem. I don't have a problem. <laughs> I can stop anytime I want to. Sure. If I had an addiction, I think video games would be the addiction I want to if I had to have one. Seems like the one of the more better ones to have. Uh, not so damaging. Well, damage into my wallet, but. Oh! Oh, yeah. cold for me. You're a bean. Oh. At least I'm not spending money and actively putting poison inside of my body. Yeah. I do that from another vice, and that's coffee. That's coffee poisonous to you, though? Uh, no, it, it is just poison. Oh. Uh, that's okay. that's what it is. It's, a, it's an insecticide made by the plant. Oh. Is there not certain coffee beans that are made out of, like, shit as well? Um... <laughs> not, not out of shit. <laughs> Well, it needs to. It goes through some some uh, a digestive tract of an animal and all uh, that. Yes. 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 Yes, they do. And they're cool. like there's two versions. Like one is with monkeys and the other one is with cats. I don't know which what? one. What? I think the cat one's the most expensive one. Yeah. I didn't know about the cats. I only knew yeah. about the monkeys. Yeah, they give them and they don't really digest them. Yeah, it's very specific cats as well. It's like it's like South American cats, I, I think. It's a <laughs> of very specific. It had to be fucking South American. <laughs> it's a very specific cat as well. Like it's a cat, but like it's more like a fucking tiger. Oh. Like a like a full on tiger. No, it's it's just it's just a really big cat. It's like a wild cat that lives in the jungle. It's not a tiger though. It's just like a. Like a. I don't like know. It's in, it's in that it's that species. Yeah. I forget the name of that, yeah, but I know. Uh, there, there are I some think of those. Are lynx and ocelots, and they're not that big. <laughs> yeah, lynx. Oh, it good. is lynx? Yeah. Oh, not that Co big. Just Copa kinda... Luwak is also Finish. called civet coffee in the West. It is a kind of drink made from coffee beans that are excreted whole by an animal called a, a civet mm. cat. In simpler words, it's cat poop coffee. Wow. Yeah. I'm back to you know what? poop coffee. Even if they promise me. <laughs> Come back to cat poop coffee. You just show up, you're just like, I'll yeah. promise cat shit coffee. Where is it? Even if I get promised that it's the best coffee I will ever have in my life, I still, I still wouldn't have it. I don't like coffee, it tastes too weird. Uh, well, I like the bitter taste. <laughs> you're a bitter man, are you, fuck? I like dark <laughs> chocolate. But, uh, yeah. I, I, shit's shit. Shit. I fucking love frappuccino with no coffee. Basically, a milkshake, thank you. <laughs> yeah. I do like milkshakes. Do your Although, milkshakes I... bring all the boys to the yard? Damn right. Uh, actually, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I could really go for a hot, a hot chocolate right about now. Hot chocolate. Yeah. Hot chocolate. I, I have mint hot chocolate, like the powder stuff, but I, I just can't be bothered. Uh, man, I, uh, I just to just to be fancy, I put that shit on my coffee, like the mint powder thing. Wow, and it was yeah, fucking yeah. rancid. <laughs> it, I hated it. Coffee, like, mint with shit. Yeah, I just, yeah mint, mint either has to be on its own or in chocolate. I think. Yeah, I agree. Mint chips, chocolate. I mean, ice cream. Best uh, thing. Mint, best mint, thing ever. Mint choc ice cream. Oh, oh, oh. oh yes. Yes. This is called like a, a podcast stream, I think. Is it? It will be our podcast stream. Yeah, double cast. It's my podcast. So, Fox, yes. what do you think about the uh, the, mm -hmm. the recent um, falling of the economic markets in the South American continent? There you go. You're, you're talking about Argentina and Venezuela and all of that. 
Oh, I mean, I'm not sure what Argentina is, but yeah, Venezuela. Uh, oh, man. I know about, I know about Colombia and Chile and all those, but I've never heard of this Argentina you speak of. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty, uh, not, not very well known country. You mean Britain? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Better hope there's more Argentina in here. <laughs> Fresh, Man, I don't know. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Wait, oh no, I was I was gonna go fucking political rant, so you go ahead first. Oh, was it does. Fresh, you you've said before you are the enjoyer of women as well. Uh, I I don't think I've asked you before, but wh which is better, the boobs, or the booty? And that, okay, now you're oh, asking, you're asking me if, I, if I'm an ass man or a tit man. Yeah. Or a woman. That, that could be. <laughs> you can't, if you, you are a man. You be an ass man. Okay, yeah. Mm. I like them both, but I think I might need ass. I love, I love good curves. I'm more of a, a fucking. I'm a titty man all day. Not Same. fair. Asses. Very, very good. Though. I think it's only best if accompanied with thick thighs. Those would be peak. Yeah, peak so. Yeah, that's right. I'm an ass man too. I like my pear-shaped uh, women. Yes. It's the hips, the ass, and the thighs. It's the combo zone. Thank you. In an ideal world, though, it'd be both. Like this, like that, like this, this, I have an idea. We all, mm -hmm. we all have to ask each other questions. Whoever gets asked a question has to ask a different person a question. Alright. Okay. Fox, like that. peanut yeah. butter or jelly more? Peanut butter and jelly peanut butter. Peanut butter, absolutely. I could just eat the fucking peanut peanut butter mm -hmm. out of the fucking jar with a spoon. Thank you. I can agree with that. You need to keep me the fuck away from the peanut butter or I will eat it all. That actually happened. I could not stop myself. <laughs> I have a problem. I remember like when I was the at, at the saddest and fattest I've ever been in my life. I just I had both the Nutella jar and the peanut butter jar open, and I was just scooping out of the two one at a time. <laughs> just, I can't even remember what I was doing well. I, I think I was like watching a movie while I did that. You know, I'm not huge on Nutella, but there was one point in my life, for like a good like three months, I would get the salsa verde Doritos and a jar of Nutella, and I just sit there. Dip them in, need them. And just absentmindedly, as you do. Well, time to go with Gemini. Uh, damn. Okay, now my turn to ask a question. Oh, uh, fuck. <laughs> can't even think of a question if I'm answering. You can choose. Me. You got three people that you know pretty well. You can ask them anything. Maybe something that you've been wanting to know. Or... I think that's the problem, yeah. <laughs> I, know, I know you guys well enough to already know what you're going to answer. You'd be like, what's your deepest, darkest, se darkest secret? <laughs> What's your moral stance on, hmm. upon this? You know what? This is a, this is a question that's kind of tangential to that one. Like, I, I bet it eventually leads to that. Uh, Luca, what's your favorite YouTube channel? Oh, dear God. Uh, <laughs> um, give me a second. I'm looking at my subscriptions. That's a tough one. Yeah. Um... 
I would say out of all of the YouTube channels that I've ever watched on my illustrious watch time on YouTube, uh, <laughs> it, it would probably have to be uh, probably binging with Babish, to be honest. Oh, oh shit, okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's a Babbage. good solid one. I like that. Yeah. I also watch it. I watch it when I'm eating my food. Ah, you're one of those that needs to watch. No, I don't need to. I just like watching it. I don't know. Something comforting about it. Ah, okay. I, I kind of like right. uh, watched with Babish. Yeah. Yeah, well, which one? What? Uh, he, he's got a other series called Botched by Babish. Uh, where he redoes. <laughs> He redoes like the recipes that he does that um a lot more casual I feel like that it's got a it's got an know. office vibe to it thank you like it's improvised yeah uh improvised there you would you like um, a personal hmm. anecdote question fox Oops. okay you're getting it anyway um, <laughs> uh, what what's the best piece of advice you've ever received? Oh, man, I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's uh, a solid piece of advice. That's all probably, <laughs> probably the saddest part is that the the best advice I've ever gotten is from movies and not real people, which could be like you know. Uh, script writers, they are real people still. Yeah, but it's delivered by very charismatic uh, fictional characters, and I think that that kind of adds to it. Like, I wouldn't really take it very seriously if I wasn't if it wasn't said uh, by by a sexy man or sexy woman. All right, but what's the best what's the best piece of advice specifically? I can't really think of anything right now. Like, I, all all I'm thinking is fucking scenes from the matrix but none of those have really any advice look up matrix quotes i think the best matrix quote <laughs> i've ever heard is um uh mm. it was it was the one by morpheus of course and it was uh mm. i'm paraphrasing here but it was essentially along the lines of um you don't have to believe that the matrix uh is a thing all you have to do is open your mind and the matrix uh becomes reality did he say that? That's not, he did yeah, a lot. Something along those lines. It was basically about just um, you don't have to believe something for it to be true, uh, as as long as you uh, try and live your 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 life by those guidelines, it becomes true. That sort of thing. Uh, did he say that in the first one? I I don't know. It's a lot of very good quotes in all three of those movies. Oh yeah. Sorry, I, I, I didn't say four of those movies. I don't acknowledge the fourth one. <laughs> <laughs> it, okay, there, there was some like there were some promising points in that uh, fourth movie. Like the the beginning of it is fucking amazing. Uh, the the it's it's probably talking about like the same thing as the first ones, but looked through a more uh, quote unquote modern lens, as in like uh, how would a Matrix work nowadays? Like people aren't like so amazed by technology anymore. They know what computers are. <laughs> yeah, that too. Like that guy keeps fucking spouting about like conspiracy <laughs> theories. Like, you oh, got You're poor. Yeah, it ends up being like something simple as like if you don't have enough money to have an opinion. Oh, I fucking love that quote. That's so fucking funny. <laughs> I mean, it's, 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 a, it's a bit of an asshole take, but it's just it's funny. Hey, it's, it's completely it's... an asshole take, even uh, if it is funny. It's, it's fuck... <laughs> <laughs> it's like this, it's like that, it's like this, this, like that. <laughs> what, what, what's oh, the like, greatest, like what's the greatest advice? Huh? Oh, man, okay, I, can't, I can't think of anything because every single uh, piece of advice that people have offered me in my life, I've done the complete Hollywood. opposite and I ended up more happy. <laughs> I'll give you another question. Well, well it could be an sure. advice that you made yourself that you like kind of learn to uh you know mm. it's come to fruition you've realized oh, okay. it so much that it's so actually it, helped you no it's i mean it's, it's impossible not to to really 
violently smell my own farts with this thing, but um, <laughs> well, I, I wrote it down. <laughs> oh, this man wrote it down. That's how you know it's serious. Yeah, <laughs> it, like a great piece of advice that I. You see, it, it could it could have came from a movie or something else, but number one piece of advice that I love is always look out for yourself. That's it. The, that's the fucking terrible. <laughs> <laughs> but, but okay, like as long as that's not the only. You you can modify uh, it a bit. Like my my modified yeah. version of it is or, uh, always look out for yourself uh, first, and then if you if you have enough of uh. If your life is good, try and spread that to others. There you go. Uh, elementary, my dear Watson. <laughs> elementary, my dear Watson. <laughs> Discombobulate. Ah, they, <laughs> Discombobulate. Discombobulate. The, this came from a conversation that I have with Mouse. Um, and he, he's talking about like uh, the, probably a conversation that I have with myself a lot too when I'm figuring things out about my life you, you uh, come to a conclusion and then you say okay this is this is it this is what I do with the rest of my life and I, I made that mistake several times in my life and end up uh, just making a fool out of myself so to his moment of clarity I go don't mistake strong emotions for clarity my friend Reggie Oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that is, is the, the life lesson that Bipolar uh, taught me. Alright, now you have to ask someone a question for it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, damn. On this day, on this day. The concept of love. I ain't listening. <laughs> Best bit of advice I can think of is do what you can from Boondocks to Shim. Oh, yeah! Grandpa, what do you do when you can't do anything when you're done? Then you do what you can. You do what you can. That's also good. That was really good, man. My favorite piece of advice is I want to be alone. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? There's a stuff that, was, me. that was from a uh, fucking uh, very old movie, actually, Grand Hotel. Uh, you want you want not? I, I think don't it's know. like 1930 something. Jeez. Yeah. Any or or. Uh, my, my second favorite one, um, usually, uh, I apply when I'm, I'm trying to find out who did something wrong, uh, as run as the, 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 the typical quote, round up all the usual suspects. <laughs> <laughs> That's from Casablanca. Oh. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Here, here's a, uh, a question for Crash. Yeah. Oh shit! Fuck! I'm, I'm forgetting, forgetting the question. <laughs> God damn! I had to do something with disciplines. Fuck! Wait, wait! I had it. No, my brain is failing me. The pressure. <gasps> you can always phone a friend in the chat. You can ask hey. <laughs> Schindler for a question. I can't read the people. chat. Where's the chat? Schindler, help Fox out. Thank you. Okay, there we go. Okay, question? Yeah. What What's something you would ask someone here? Actually, yes. Another one I can think of is to do the bare minimum unless you feel like it would help you. I think my grandfather told me. That's also good. <laughs> Best to live life. Yeah. 
Another, it's another question for Fox. Oh, damn. What got you started off on wanting to do art? Who was your inspiration? Oh, I actually know the, the, the exact moment and the year, too. It was 2003. And I was uh, a, a young little stupid little shit uh, of, on, in middle school. And uh, there was a, a trading card game at the time that was a, a Chilean uh, ripoff of Magic the Gathering with some <laughs> Pokemon thrown in there for, for good measure. Um, but the the art in in those cards were like uh, really really good, like Magic the Gathering level. But it was all done by chilling artists, every single one of them. Um, and there was one of them that had the most, uh, I guess, <laughs> in the best way I can put it, accessible kind of art style. It was very detailed, but at the same time, I feel like I. I felt like I could follow it if I just copied it. Uh, and the, the, the artist's name was Genso. He still goes by that name. And he's the guy that did the, the art for uh, Double Dragon Neon. And there was a, a more recent game that he did the art uh, for, for the art direction. But I can't, can't remember. <laughs> um, and um, it was a, a, a specific card that he drew. It was um, it was called uh, Bowen to Nefertari. It was uh, an Egyptian uh, myth or legend. Uh, since every single card in that card game was uh, themed after myths and legends, that was literally the name of the game. Uh, and then uh, one uh, Comic Con, I met him. Um, well, I was like in his little like post store whatever like selling his the uh, posters and shit uh, it wasn't there to sign anything that was like for more quote-unquote successful artists like the you know there's this uh, pretty uh, unknown guy that drew some uh, fuck off comic like a v for vendetta but who knows that guy i also went and said hi to him <laughs> but yeah and I, I, I i told him about the um, the the card like the he he was the reason i was drawing like searching i'm looking for art as a career and i was like oh yeah i drew in like tw uh, like 20 minutes i drew Jesus. that shit <laughs> and then i was like i was in a deadline i was like fuck i need i need to do something so i just drew that and i'm like oh <laughs> oh shit <laughs> but it was great and uh, i not not recently like years ago i had the uh, a very similar moment to that actually happened to me um it was it was somebody that was in my stream and he was talking it was like ah oh, um i'm i'm studying right now i think like graphic design and it's because i i saw one of your drawings on uh, uh deviantart back when i used to pose in there and i was like what the fuck? It's like yeah, yeah. So I saw, I saw like the, the the art you were making, and then I started watching your streams, and I was like, now I'm studying. Yay! Um, and he showed me the the drawing is um, pretty much a, a fluke that I did. Is like something that I still haven't been able to replicate. <laughs> uh, like fuck. this is years ago i think if i went back because I, I lost that drawing of course uh in the in the great um mechanical hard drive incident rest in peace Rip. Reese's pieces Reese's pieces in peace and uh, i um i'm pretty sure if i go back i i think it's just gonna look like garbage <laughs> the drawing itself so i i know i know what it feels <laughs> like you don't really put a lot of stock in the in the things you do but somebody out there is gonna look at it and go is gonna go like wow that looks like fun justy what i am making nothing like that <laughs> shit just make <laughs> make a little slop art and then i throw it off to the side and say go ahead and have the fucking pieces people 
and I get like one <laughs> one like on Twitter. I'm like, yes. <laughs> I'm gonna steal your question, okay, Fox? Yeah. I'm gonna ask a question. Crash, do you have any toys that you had as a kid, but now you still own them as an adult? Ooh. Oh, that's a good question. It can even be a board game, card game, whatever. It doesn't have to be like a little toy action figure or whatever. I mean, as far as like toys, toys go, not really. However, I do have like the PlayStation my parents bought. Really? It doesn't work anymore, but like that was like my first like console outside of like um, the Nintendo 64. Yeah. Oh my god. My first my first gaming console was a Nintendo 64. Wow. Wait, what game was it? It was just the PlayStation in general. Oh. I mean, that's going to be about the closest I have to anything like that. Pretty much all the little knickknacks and stuff I have now I have accrued in my adult adult life. Here is it. Yeah. Actually, I take that back. I have a doll. Um, it has a porcelain face, and uh, I've had that since I was like five. I forget about it. <laughs> and he just watches you at night. Damn. <laughs> this lady forgot I mean, about me. This is bullshit. <laughs> it's actually <laughs> in um. It's actually in a um, box in the storage unit. <laughs> <laughs> it's very, it's very pretty. It's very cute. It's so like she's got a porcelain face, but then like instead of it being like a regular like doll, she's like a bunny. It's. I'm. We're about to move, so as soon as I get in the storage unit, I'll take a picture and I'll post it. Gonna look like fucking Annabelle. <laughs> no. Um, she actually doesn't look traumatizing at all. Oh, okay. Which is really saying something, because I've seen some traumatizing fucking dolls. Yeah. My great-grandmother collected them. Like, the really weird, creepy-looking ones. Um, I actually also have another one, but I, it was not... It's been set aside for me since, since I was, like, born, but I did not actually have it in my possession until... I was 26, oh. but it's, it's, um, it's an actual certified doll. It's a Madame Alexander. Um, it's Anna Green Gables because she has red hair like me. <laughs> I think it's Anna Green Gables. She comes like in a whole case and everything. Um, she has several outfits you can change her in and out of. And then the only other thing I could think of... this These make me sound so girly. I didn't really play with this stuff. <laughs> except for this last thing I'm going to mention. Which was... Um, I have a tea set that was gifted to me by the same person who gifted me the doll with the porcelain face. And the bunny body. Um, it's like a whole little tiny tea set. It's all porcelain as well. Okay. Are you gonna invite uh, us over for some? Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> I will send out formal invitations. Um, Anne will be there. We'll have a, a full on tea party. Yeah, it's tea party. Let's go. Hey, the tea. Fun fun fact i actually can't throw an actual tea party huh? because my grandfather set aside a whole set of china so i actually have a whole set of china oh <laughs> <laughs> that i um i got I'll... that whenever sorry i'll bring the british tea so that you all drink proper tea <laughs> yeah. no one throw it in the ocean okay 
Yeah, now we're speaking my language. That would be funny if you weren't one of the colonized uh, islands that got released last. Huh? 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 Yeah. That's okay. We're colonized. Almost... We weren't colonized by the I British. Don't know why I, I don't know why I defended Britain there for a second. I actually don't know. Yeah. yeah, you're like <laughs> British. Say, hey. like, what the fuck? Yeah, they also colonize. They still colonize us. I'm sick of it. I was colonized by Spain and Portugal. Yeah, don't you forget it. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I'm still <laughs> technically under British rule. <laughs> You're right. Uh, Schindler said, I still have the Super Nintendo I stole from my parents because I was better than them, Lamo. He <laughs> makes it sound like he beat the fuck out of his parents and took the Super <laughs> Nintendo. Schindler <laughs> put them in their place. Absolutely, did. The fucking alpha the shit out of his parents. <laughs> Well, for this whole time, <laughs> I have a I have a very very sad story about like uh, childhood toys. I looked oh, no. I looked around in my room uh, to see if I still held any toys from my childhood. There is none. None left. There was one left because I actually did that on purpose. Uh, uh, the the this house is not some big fuck off storage so I can keep every single thing I've ever owned. So uh, we were running out of space and I was like, well, I, I don't fucking play with these fucking toys anymore, so might as well get rid of them. Uh, and uh, since I'm a big uh, sentimental guy, uh, I was like, okay, I'm going to keep at least one of them. And I kept a teddy bear that wears a leather jacket. It was really cool. Um, uh, guess, guess where the fucking toy is now? <laughs> no, no. Oh, no. Where is it? <laughs> it's in Germany now. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, shit. I gifted that to my ex. Yikes. Yeah. I got my passport. Let's fucking go. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's... If I well, actually, no, I don't want to say anything or else I'm going to be, uh, <laughs> the, the fucking FBI is going to come knocking on my door. <laughs> pop, pop, pop. FBI, open up. <laughs> <laughs> when are you going to get that sound One of my testing? fucking exes has my dog. Uh, oh my god, okay. Okay, you know what? That's worse. <laughs> nah, like, I'd argue, I'd argue the teddy bear is fucking worse to be on. Is it? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Cause at least, I remember. Um, at least my I, other I dog fucking, is a lot of shit, but I, I fucking love that dog. But he's gone. Man. I fucking, I fuck, I fucking cried for that toy when I was a kid. When I was a little baby. Cause, cause my, <laughs> I, I cried like a little bitch. Cause my mom, my mom wouldn't buy me the the little teddy bear. Cause she, she was too broke. And then the, um, the, the 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 woman selling the teddy bear, who was a, a friend of my mom's, was like. Uh, you know, you can, I can just give you the thing now and you pay later. And she was like, yeah. Since uh, we're all talking about sentimental things, I have one <laughs> sentimental thing. Uh, I have nothing else but this, and I wear it every single day still. And I'm not farming for sympathy before anyone fucking memes on me, all right? I, um, I have... So my grandfather died uh, in 2019, right? Um, and literally on his deathbed, he handed me this box. And it was a, a watch that he carried from World War Two. Uh, it's a Hel oh. uh, Helvetica, or whatever the fuck it's called, a Helvetti. Um, and he yeah. carried he carried that literally. He didn't do he he wasn't in Germany during the final push or anything, but he was in um, what do you call it? He's in France defending the German border that they had set up, and uh, mm. he carried that watch from there and he left it to me. And I still wear it every day. I have to keep getting it fixed every year, but I, I'd. I'd rather keep getting it fixed. Yeah, I was gonna say, does it still <laughs> work? No, that's fantastic. Yeah, it still, it still works, yeah. It's just, it's very old, um, so it's expensive to get it fixed, but I wanna, I wanna keep it alive because it's got my grandmother and my grandfather's name engraved on the back of it. Oh. Uh, a much sillier man would have made a Pulp Fiction reference in there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I know you fucking kind of boots that the watch up the asshole, yeah. You can't yes. carry nothing that's asshole to me over Japan. <laughs> <laughs> God, what the fuck? Oh, 
That's a good, that's a good reference. <laughs> that is really neat, though, to have that watch. Yeah. Yeah, I think one day it's gonna become irreparable. Um, but until that day comes, I'll keep paying. It's like a couple hundred dollars to get fixed, because it just stops working. It's like it's the gears in it. Oh, they just get um, they, they get ground down. Yeah, and uh, the parts that they need to replace, they can't replace them. Just with like modern parts, it has to be specifically those type of gears from that time period, because the way the watch was made. So I have to keep paying. It's like literally a couple hundred dollars every year to get it fixed. Uh, I'd be cheaper just buying than a, a fucking iWatch at this point. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Can you Your imagine phone that? Your time much better than that. Imagine, huh? imagine that. My granddad, he carried this I Apple Watch across the battlefield. <laughs> <laughs> carried this fucking Apple Watch across German lines. <laughs> Hitler himself asked for the time. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. <laughs> Hold on, what was your grandpa doing there? Oh, he was the best pilot ever. He was the best, uh, he was the best dive bomb pilot Japan had ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Not a very good one, though, because he survived. Yeah. <laughs> he got sent home. A big, great dishonor to the family. Yeah. First of all, fun fact, I'm, I'm not one of the only people in the family that's never served. Just, uh... Yeah, you serving? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I would never serve for the military. Don't believe in it. Hey, that makes you less. This is all the fucking corruption, you know, they, they did what they actually said. Set out to do that would be. Oh, I, I just don't. I just don't want to die for for a politician sitting in sitting in a fancy house tomorrow. That too. Young it's men fighting old men war. Yes. The war is with the the old and bitter send the stupid and young to kill each other. Yeah. Yeah. Thank yeah. You. GTA Four. Thank you. Let's yeah, go. Like two real good songs that talk about that specific thing. <laughs> this is over now, baby. <laughs> well, let's see. Fortunate Son is one, um, yeah. which is specifically about Vietnam. Um, oh. And then, of course, you got um, System of a Down. So... BYOB. Yep. I have a, I have a question uh, for mm -hmm. Crash. And I, you know what? I have a question for everyone, but let Crash go first. No. Not for a specific reason, but I feel like she's had less questions than the rest of everyone. <laughs> uh, That's true. Jesse hasn't gotten a single one. All, all right, Chris. I, I already um, know, Fez. What is, okay. uh... <laughs> what, what, um... How, how have you learned from the failures you've encountered in your life? Lord, have I done a lot of learning. Um... That's so broad. <laughs> Well, what, what uh, failures have, have made you learn the most? We could do that one. I would probably say the failure that's taught me the most is probably uh, my first marriage. Uh, learned a lot about myself and other things. People. I uh, that uh that whole relationship uh taught me a lot <laughs> it just like i don't know how to elaborate without getting like i don't know how to mm. be concise with that answer i mean but, you don't have to elaborate um, you just say you learn from your first marriage that's that's fine yeah i mean it, it's allowed me to have a really good relationship and marriage with uncle so all right, uh, Fox. Mm hmm. Oh, for the same thing. Oh, yeah, uh, man, it's always it's always about relationship, isn't it? <laughs> they, they teach mm. you a lot. Um, yeah, like the pretty much every relationship I had, like it teach teaches me more about myself than other people, really. Because there's, there's, I can make generalizations about what everybody else is like, and in hopes to predict their behavior, but that's, that is never really going to happen. Like everybody is unique. 
in the ways they can surprise you. Mm. Uh, the the more I really know about myself, the better I can treat other people. That's what that taught me. All right. So uh, I'm not really sure what your answer was there. Um, so relationships have, have taught you the most. Yeah. Reason? All right. Okay. Uh, all right, Justy. I've learned, but in a negative way. Uh, it's not okay. it's not always a good way that you learn sometimes it's uh it makes you even worse uh it made, made you bitter yeah <laughs> i after the first friend group that i lost um i i made it where it was tougher for people to connect with me and it set up a cycle of becoming even worse because people don't connect to me as much and i feel as shallow towards them you know and it's hmm. just a it's a cycle that I've been trying to break free of, but it's basically instead of trying to uh, forget or forgive the past people that I've been in friendships with, uh, I instead to close myself off even further and makes current and or future relationships, be it friendships or otherwise, uh, harder to obtain or fill fully uh like i'm fully getting something from it fully uh appreciating it so mm. it's a negative trait that i've learned but um, thank you i mean the fact that you you know recognize that is is good for yourself yeah very important first step recognize there is an issue to work on hey what about you luke um, mine's is a see, mine's a bit of an asshole fucking take, right? But this is just something I've learned, right? Uh, so, I I have learned that from from mistakes in the past. Sometimes it's okay to not be okay with people. Sometimes mm -hmm. you need to cut off relationships when it's uh, very clear that it's going absolutely nowhere. Yeah, I learned that pretty recently. <laughs> I learned that from uh, uh, my most recent fucking partner. So I'm applying those mistakes I made in that relationship and applying it to the new one. And uh, hopefully it works out. So we'll see. My, mine's is, my, my failure learning is ongoing at the moment. <laughs> Finler says, sometimes you should absolutely hate the absolute shit out of someone. Oh, I don't hate people. I, I don't have it in me to hate someone. Um, I mean, I might really dislike someone, but I think hate should be reserved for people like, uh, you know, um, mass murderers and shit like that. I don't reserve that for people that have said something mean to me or, I don't know, stolen from me. I, I just think that's extreme. Yeah, I'm going yeah, I'm, oh, fuck. God damn it. I was gonna what? counter that with something, but I already forgot. What the fuck is up with my brain? I only find uh, when it comes to hatred. Oh no, that's a tough one. Because I feel like I don't really hate. I I just have a great annoyance. I can be that way, yeah. I think hatred ah, okay, is okay, okay. someone I remember, that you look at and you feel nothing but anger towards when you look at them. Yeah, that you you like instead of of going straight to hate or whatever like. Uh, uh, prescribed thing uh, the, uh, or emotion that you should feel towards some somebody. Instead, you should try to just allow yourself to feel what you have to feel, right? Whether it be anger, mm -hmm. annoyance, or sadness, or whatever. It's like holding on to emotions is never really good, and we do that in relation to other people. Or at least I do. I mean, I've tried to hate people. <laughs> I'm really, I mean, if I can get, you know, a little bit of the hate going, it it dies so fast. I just, I don't have the time to sit there and waste with the mental energy towards all of that. Because that, it takes a lot to just continue to actively hate. Um... But I think it's also fair to say that I could potentially just be really good at suppressing 
think so. I don't know. Yes. I get distracted too. I'm too much of a narcissist. Like, <laughs> to do what to hate other people? Yeah, it's more like, do these people even matter? No, not as much as I do. <laughs> like, hmm. Okay. Sure. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say that's uh, it's a narcissist trait. It, actually, narcissism is the complete opposite. That you, um, if you care too much about what other people have to say about you, as in, and only when it relates to the image that you're having, like then you would do everything in your power to uh, alter the, the views of these people. But also, apparently, we all got semi bamboozled because Schindler says, I'm "Not being serious with that at all." Oh wow. You really but, got yeah, you know what? You know what? Also... I, hate, I hate Shenlock for that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he also followed up with, Well, I do have someone I absolutely hate, and I wish them nothing but the worst for them. Simply because they blackmailed me and ruined a lot of relationships I used to. Yeah, and hatred is the appropriate response to that. Well, yeah, I, I would hate them I'm for saying. you. I'd invest <laughs> in you for that. You know what? I hate them too. I don't even know them. Yeah, I mean that is that is probably the easiest way to provoke such an intense feeling from me is I do tend to care pretty deeply for the people I associate with. And um I'm not keen on that. I think it's I'll also scummy. Up. Like mailing someone like So fucking scummy. <laughs> All right, I'll be, I'll be. Mm. Hey guys, did Actually, you know fucking shading legs is really hard? What? But, but before I go, I'll ask a question, and then you can ask me if you like to when I come back. Uh, can, can you guys, can you guys all share a time uh, where it's the funny? Sorry, not a time. Can you guys share the funniest situation that's ever happened to you? And I'll be back. Funniest. I gotta ponder on that for a second. I can't even imagine my life is a tragedy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you're such a fucking inch look. <laughs> 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 my whole fucking life is a comedy. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't realize my life is a comedy. <laughs> I forgot you said that. <laughs> You are the junkler. The junkler man. You're such a junkler material, Jesse. Yeah. Retarded. <laughs> Fine. I'm trying to think what is one of the funniest things that's ever happened to me. Yeah, I'm still on that fucking. I don't know. Fox, can I get a quick uh, anatomy check? Oh, okay. Let me have a look. Everything seems to be in order. What, what do you. I'm just wondering, like, it, if, is there too much leg? Not enough leg? Too little arm? You know? Oh, you mean, like, proportionally? Yeah, like, it, does it look fucked up in a weird way? Hmm. I understand, you know, body, bodies aren't truly like this, um, but as far as like a cartoony or a exaggerated look, does it look okay? Um, are the hands going to be... <laughs> <laughs> Thank I'm you, Shinra. sorry, I'm a red one. <laughs> it looks like me too. Got the fucking YouTube booty. Damn. Uh, it doesn't seem too out of order. Like you would, like in in monkeys, you see like they have uh, very long arms, like longer than the than their yeah. legs. Yeah. What I was noticing with these arms is that very long. Oh, uh, like they seem more like like the ones with big titties. They seem to have like uh, proportional arms to the legs, and are much more like a human. Yeah. But the one that that's just fucking balloon style. That one has like a lot longer arms more like a more like an ape or a chimpanzee or a chimpanzee 
Okay. Even though that's, I think, technically not a, not a chimp or, a, or an ape, because it has a tail. Uh, okay. Monk. Monk. Big monk. Animals. I guess you won't really know until uh, you get the the face. They're putting it back. Position. Like then you won't really know if I. Welcome really back. Had, like, it's the joke of a funny moment. Uh, <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> I'm looking. We're up all here. struggling. I made a oh, joke. I, can give I you made a joke for reference. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you did. Um, <laughs> Just see the Joker reference. So the funniest moment that's ever happened to me happened when I was working in, in retail and it's a, mm -hmm. it's a situation that turned from violence into comedy. So oh. this, guy, this was during the pandemic, right, where I don't know if the US or your guys' countries had a toilet roll issue. Um, we did. <laughs> yeah. So there was a lack of toilet roll being produced. So everyone in the store was like limited to one pack, like one pack of like 10 per customer. Um, and we ran out, like I just handed the last one to a customer and this guy, like six foot two, is standing like behind me and he's like, what the fuck? Why did you give that to the other customer? What the fuck? I've got four children in the car there. And we all, and uh, they, need the to they need the toilet right now. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm sorry, but I, I, I can't, there's nothing I can do. There's nothing in the back or anything. That was the last one until tomorrow. And the guy literally was just like, you know what? And he swung at me. I just kind of stood to the side um, as he punched and he, and he kind of tripped over my feet and he fell and he, he literally like head, he head butted a fucking cage uh, and then he stood up and it was like a, it was like a fucking cartoon he stood up all days and was like staggering side to side and he, he, he fell into like a like a big tower display of uh, baby powder like the talcum powder stuff and it went all over him I was fucking <laughs> I was dying Looney Tune shit it was yeah everyone was dying laughing and uh, then oh. they got taken away by the police in handcuffs covered in baby powder <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, was so Great fucking guy. funny. Completely humiliated himself. Because he had fucking kids that were shitting. Yeah. yeah. Before he before he swung at me, the next sentence out of my mouth was gonna be, Oh yeah, that store just across the road, they've got loads in. But he couldn't <laughs> wait. <laughs> you were about to fix this issue and he's I decided was, yeah. to try to punch you. So that's the funniest thing that's happened to me. Like that. Uh, I I got one that's semi Similar to that, it was pretty funny for everyone else besides me. But looking oh. back, looking back on it, it, it was pretty funny. Um, I, I don't know if you guys know this, but I am fat. So uh, when I was a <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, this is I... news. I have to rethink my whole thought of you. Yeah, just so you fucking people know. Um, but I was also a little chunky child as well. And uh, do you guys know what a 7-Eleven is? If you don't... Yes. Yes, okay. Yes. All right. Um, I was I, I was a little kid in 7-Eleven with my mom. There was a line and we were getting some Slurpees. And I, I was like cracked up as a little kid. I was just dancing around. I'm like, I'm excited for my Slurpee. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> right? Oh my God. Um, That's the cutest fucking thing. And I fucking... I stepped... Uh, on the wrong fucking thing. One foot went on like a carpet that was slippery and the other went on the tile floor. And I did like the splits and my fucking shorts did a loud rip in my fucking oh, shit. And I was fucking just standing there in my underwear. I ran out to the car and bears. <laughs> <laughs> and as I was running out, everyone was fucking laughing their ass off. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Man. Talking about Looney Tunes shit, you just yeah. did like a, a brilliant fucking physical comedy. And it, it did do the whole fucking rip sound effect. Like, yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> it did the stock sound effect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. But it's okay. I, I got 7 Eleven after that. So. Oh, okay. All was well in the world. <laughs> yeah. It, it, was all, it was all worth it. Man, okay, we're talking about moments like that then. Uh, but I always 
uh, me and my coworkers were when I was working at retail, the last retail work I I had in my life. Uh, we were so miserable that we would just try to entertain each other. So we would always be doing like weird shit, you know. Like um, uh, I remember the the fucking mall had a, a playlist of like 80 songs, so I knew them from memory as they were like uh uh the, the coming up and one of them was like the take on me thing take on me. yeah like the fucking thing when he came to the and i fucking started screaming like <laughs> like right in front of the fucking <laughs> customer i don't know where just because i was so bored that i had to do something you know yeah uh that that's just one of them like we did uh the fucking for every uh product we had like the to stamp it you know yeah and we started doing like fucking stamp wars so it was just fucking uh put stamps on each other <laughs> uh, like chase each other around like the, the entire store like people thought we were crazy and we were we were crazy <laughs> with boredom like we did the fucking you know like the the old phones had this like the beer app and the gun app Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we like started like doing like straight up wars with the um, the phones and the guns and shit. Like we were taking <laughs> like sides and we were screaming. It was like, "Ah, oh, fucking cover me, ah, oh, grenade!" Like fucking <laughs> just shooting at each other with that shit. Like in the store, it just fucking looked like a like a nut house. So funny. Yeah, we bored, man. <laughs> <laughs> Like <laughs> one of them shot me, and I like fucking, uh, I jumped to the ground. Like I did like a stunt thing where you have to uh, land on your back, like put your your neck, uh, your chin to your like chest, and your arms back, so you would like your back would absorb the the impact. And then did that fucking uh, pratfall. It's called. I did that. Just like oh fuck, I got hit. Oh. And I started doing a dramatic scene and shit. Uh, the 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 manager was not pleased. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why I got fired. <laughs> hmm. It's still. I don't know. I really can't think of anything. Like I'm sure I've had I've had funny moments. I just can't fucking think of any. Funny moments. Do you think in the future there's gonna be like a, uh, but, well, when people get like constant 24/7 surveillance, uh, they're gonna have like a high highlight reel of their life. <laughs> when like at the funeral, they're gonna have like a like a YouTube style edited <laughs> a fucking highlight reel. Oh my God, <laughs> the fucking memes and yes. <laughs> Of your like actual life, and you get like like reaction. That'd be tragic because then you could see your life through your own eyes. And what happens if you have like terrible moments? You accidentally land on the wrong camera wheel. Yeah. You see your mother dying <laughs> or something. Fuck yeah, like that. You get like fucking uh, prages and like not like this and sad faces. <laughs> and fucking bug oh. jam with somebody. <laughs> One of the worst <laughs> moments in your life. <laughs> Start being lost against like no puck champion of fucking tragedies. Just, <laughs> <laughs> Just say. Homer <laughs> says, "You know what you need to do with this monkey when you finish it? Monkey flip." Oh fuck it. Oh monkey flip. Yeah, yeah with this song. What's monkey flip? Oh, oh you know monkey flip. I do not know no, monkey. I'm gonna learn you. I'm gonna learn you some monkey flip, motherfucker. What are you gonna learn today? Some bullshit. Daddy chumps. Let me go try. Okay, you already did that. <laughs> okay. No, no, with the song. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, like I that. Made a flip, dude. 
Don't fucking put that gift in there. <laughs> why, why didn't the video finish the full monkey flip? <laughs> that that gift's a lot better. It's an AC version. Here's the, the gift. Here's the fucking full version. I like that. There's the flip. <laughs> I fucking die. It landed on my neck. You're dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember I uh, I was on the beach with my brother and cousin. We were trying to be uh, super cool and do flips and shit. And I did a handstand and I landed on my neck. Ooh. <laughs> Very violently. And yeah, like I know it was bad because both my brother and my cousin were like... Because I landed. And then I just got up and I was perfectly fine. I was like... Am I made out of rubber? Could have been your death. Yeah, but maybe I died then. Like I'm, I've been a ghost this whole time. Oh. <laughs> Spooky. Spooky. Mm. And this is my purgatory. <gasps> <laughs> well, I guess I kind of got something that happened a couple weeks ago. It's kind of funny. Oh. Um. So... There's a door that I open at work that I use to let vendors and drivers in and stuff. And it's basically like, almost like a garage door, but I have to manually open and close it. There's like uh, this piece that's kind of, I had to, I had to cover it up. It's cut my hand open three times. Jeez. Yeah. Um, well, right before this last time, my friend, she was like, Oh, have you cut your hand on that recently? And I was like, no, I haven't actually. But now I feel like I need to go knock on wood because you brought it up and now it's going to happen. And two days later, she's standing next to me because she just happens to be over there. I open the door and I fucking slice my finger open. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah. And so I'm like, this is your fault. I'm telling is. you right now. <laughs> this is your fault. <laughs> she was like, what are you talking about? I was like, you fucking did this. I was fine for months. And then you had to go and ask. And now I've fucking sliced open my hand in between fingers, like Ooh. almost in that web. And oh, like, oh, fucking oh! And so she, she's just kind of like laughing. She's like, "I'm sorry." Like she's really sweet, and she genuinely felt so bad. <laughs> like I was guilting the fuck out of her. I was like, "It's your fault if you hadn't mentioned it." <laughs> so then, like, I go, I put a bandaid on it, and she's talking to somebody, and I come up behind her, but I guess she didn't like see me, and she was talking with her hands. So like right after I cut my finger open, she just fucking like swings her hand back while she's talking and fucking baps me in the face. And like I, no. just, I was just stunned. And like she always talks about like how like quick witted and stuff I am whenever we have conversation. Because mm -hmm. she just really enjoys that I guess about me. And so like she's like I've never rendered you speechless in my life and I, I don't know what this means now. I was like it means you're bringing on the apocalypse. That's why. Because <laughs> yeah. I literally, I just stared at her stunned. It didn't hurt. It, like, it wasn't hard. It just wasn't expecting her to give me in the face. And she didn't realize how close I was. Mm. So I told her she wasn't allowed to come over to our new apartment when we move in. <laughs> <laughs> I told her we're going to have a housewarming party. And she has to bring another one of our friends. And um, I'm going to make her wait outside. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Can you be uh, going to like a bubble or something? Fucking bubble boy bubble. <laughs> How to protect yourself? Protect everyone. Look, my mom <laughs> always told me she's gonna put me in bubble wrap. <laughs> are you are you kind of clumsy? Um. You call yourself are you clumsy, clumsy with it? Oh, oh god! <laughs> by the time I by the time I was eighteen, I'd been to the ER. <laughs> like six times. Oh my god! Oh, like yeah. the very first time. Oh, sorry. Oh, I, I was just gonna say that's a good question. I'd like to ask. Uh, you're done. The what's the worst injury you guys have suffered? Oh no! <laughs> Thank you. Not that bad for me. I, I would. I would say there's probably two main ones I can think of. Like, initially, 
the highest risk was probably when I was six. I stuck a ru- like a rusty pitchfork into my foot. It Ooh. initially it was fine. It missed bone, which my pediatrician was like fucking surprised because the scar, I, which I still have, is like right over bone. He's like, I don't know how you managed that, but that's fine. And but it ended up I got sent home. So because my mom was still working at the time. I ended up staying at my grandma's for a few days, um, and it ended up getting infected. So I ended up having to be um, admitted to the hospital. What the shit? That's scary. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, I didn't, like, get sick sick or anything like that. Um, It was just getting really infected really fast, and they were, they, they nipped it real fast, but, like, had, you know, nobody noticed or anything, and I was sick, so I wouldn't have fucking noticed or known. Um... It could have been bad. They lost the foot. Yeah. yeah. Um, infection does then. The second one is my longest lasting injury, which has the um, longest repercussions, uh, which I still deal with today. The same foot. Uh, when I was 17, I think like two or three weeks before my 18th birthday, I tore all of the ligaments that hold my bones together. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, in my Listen, right foot. foot. Yeah, same foot. You just hate that. You hate that foot personally. <laughs> um, I have, for my right foot, have been to the ER alone three times. Yeah. Okay. Just for that foot. Because <laughs> when I was in the eighth grade, I fell down some stairs. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess I guess we could say you are kind of clumsy. Oh, man. I take it back. I've been to the ER for that foot four times. Oh my god! <laughs> you never stop. So, it it doesn't. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um, I didn't even. I didn't even take into account that I've had to have surgery. I've had a nose job. They had to rebreak my nose. A nose job. Oh. They. I. Um, Two months before I tore the ligaments in my right foot, so still 17, um, my friend accidentally dropped a pipe on my face. It broke my nose, and then <laughs> I needed to have corrective surgery. That's some SpongeBob okay, that. shit, what the fuck? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Accidental. No, it wasn't um, actually your fault, so <laughs> It wasn't. I did my best. Yeah, I'm sure you accidentally broke your nose. Didn't, you didn't definitely get an excuse to get a nose job. Yeah, I see, I see how it is. Well, okay, so they were doing um, mandated state testing, which at the time it was called the tax test in Texas. And um, when you're a senior, you don't have to take it um, because uh-huh. they just don't provide that test for seniors. You've already taken, in lieu of that, you take your SATs, ACTs, or yeah. in the ASVAB, which is. ASVAB. The, <laughs> ASVAB is. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I got. Is the test that you take to get into the military. Well, oh. the Marines uh, ended up holding like a um, thing for us uh, to basically be like, join the Marines. And so <laughs> right after my friend dropped the pipe on my nose, because it was like part of like the, like this fitness course that they had set up. Um, She had accidentally dropped it on my nose. And she felt so bad. And I told the, the lady, she's like this really short marine chick. I was like, I'm pretty sure I broke my nose. She goes, you didn't break your nose. I was like, I'm pretty sure I broke my nose. And so <laughs> she told me I didn't because it didn't bleed. Um, and I said, um, okay. So I went home and I told my mom, I'm pretty sure I broke my nose. And then they did eat. She took me to the ER. They did x-rays. They said I didn't break my nose. And I said, I-, I broke my nose. And they told me I didn't. So I went home. And whenever you get x-rays done, mm-hmm. um, they do an initial survey of it. And then just to double check, like a day or two later, they'll do a deeper dive look at it. Well, they ended up doing a deeper dive look. And it turns out I really broke my nose. Crash, ah. I'm going to be honest. I don't think you broke your nose. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, par for the course. Yeah. By the time uh, they they said that I might have actually broke my nose, um, it was literally 
so crooked on my fucking face it was pointing a totally different direction because <laughs> yeah. it would still be yeah. like nah you didn't yeah for real they were still trying to tell me <laughs> my uh <laughs> my injury is about horrific to describe uh, oh, be, before oh, you do the screen we're here for we here for that shit let's Shin go Schindler says I feel like having a drink tonight should I do a simple hard cider or mix a rum and coke large glass of water for you mm. <laughs> I agree with that why don't both I'll, I'll uh, grab a beer and I'll drink a beer stop encouraging a large glass of water <laughs> <laughs> uh, how long since you last uh, drank something Schindler well he, well, he answers that. He said, Oh, we talking about scars on our bodies now? I got a massive gash down my right calf when a butcher's knife fell off a table. I've got multiple scars behind that calf from a figure that fell out and cut the hell out of it. A crash line? How about a large glass of uh, fuck you, Lamau? And cider <laughs> it is. <laughs> uh, I've never Better broken my nose. I just... <laughs> Gaslit everybody. I gaslit everybody by, so hard. You convince them by breaking your nose. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you do it. Huh? That's how you get them by doing it for real. Absolutely. Um. <clears throat> so my injury is 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 going to have repercussions for the rest of my life, essentially. Uh. So when I was thirteen years old. Uh, I was playing outside, having a good old little time, uh, and I just, I just happened to, I don't know, I jumped onto a, a, a curb, uh, and the way I, I landed on the curb, essentially, it was as if like I was standing on on my ankle. Um, mm. So uh, essentially, what happened was I, w I went inside and I was crying, uh, and and my mother and and all of those and my, my grandparents. We're absolutely mortified, which didn't give me any uh, any comfort because <laughs> when I looked when I looked down, the bottom the bottom of my foot was facing to the ceiling. Um, <laughs> so my my, like, my, hmm. my whole ankle from my ankle down, it just it completely just shattered. Like both my ankles shattered, um, and essentially I went to the the emergency <laughs> room. Uh, and the doctor basically also gave me a look at, like, like, like he was horrified, which didn't make me feel any better. And he was like, Je Jesus Christ, you have to get him into surgery right away. So they immediately put me under. Um, and when I woke up, I found out that I'd shattered both the ankles on my right, on my right foot. Uh, I'd tore every single ligament in that foot. Uh, and, and I'd, I'd tore muscle right off the bone. Uh, and the, the, the bone that like kind of is like, you know, like the middle of your foot that connects to your toes to like your shin or the bottom of your shin, uh, that essentially snapped in half as well. So it was essentially as if like my foot, I'd put my foot in a meat grinder, uh, internally, not externally, obviously. Wait, 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 what did you were. do to, to get this? I just jumped onto a curb. Oh, jumped, oh but, like it, it was as if like imagine imagine like put like putting your foot imagine putting like your leg up onto like your the top of your calf right like you know those yeah. people like, step with their legs crossed imagine that but like jumping on it ah uh. yeah so <clears throat> after the surgery uh i didn't look at my foot obviously it was in a big massive cast uh and they showed me the x-ray and yeah i basically they they, they put uh, I don't know what, what type of what plating they put in. I don't remember the name of it, but they put they basically had to do ankle reconstruction surgery on both of my ankles. They had to reconstruct and fuse the bone back together, the, like from a foot. Uh, and then they also had to reattach all the tendons and then bone with my foot again. Um, and yeah, they managed to save the foot because there was a possibility that I was going to lose it, just how horrific the damage was. But as the years went on and as I got older and I grew, um, I had to, I've been, I've had about six surgeries on that foot. Cause when you get older, you're, you're, you know, like you, your bones go and shit like that. Uh, so yeah, I've had to get, the, the, I've had to get the, the plates replaced about six times. And obviously when I turned 21, I fucking sigh relief because I haven't had to go back yet. So because <laughs> of that, I can no longer, I, can, I can't drive a normal car. 
uh, I have to I have to drive and buy cars with the ex with the accelerator or behind the wheel. I can I can brake. I've, like the foot I used to brake works, but I can I can never accelerate with my foot in a car because I literally my foot I can't my foot never uh, extends or brake or like uh, bends. I have to my foot only faces straight. And I, I don't know how I'm able to walk, to be honest. I don't need any crutches or anything. I don't have a limp. But essentially, oh. my, my foot, it's like fucking, it's like an iron boot, essentially. Because I can't, it, I, it only points straight and I can't move it. Oh, uh, wow. I can move my toes and shit, but I can't move the actual foot itself. So, uh, my dream of being a rugby player in high school, that got completely ended. Uh, that dream had to end because I can't play any sports anymore. Um, I can't drive professionally. So like I can't be a, I can't be a trucker, which was another dream, um, and then on top of that, uh, basically I, I can't really run because if I run, there's a chance that um, one of the the plates can just fucking cause great pain to my, to the rest of my foot. So that foot's basically fucked, and I, and every time I go through the airport, even though I have a medical certificate. I get pulled by security every single time. They have to. They put my. They put my foot through the X-ray. Uh, they look at my medical certificate. They phone my actual doctor, uh, and I'm sitting there for half an hour, and I miss my flight about nine times out of ten. Oh so God. it's kind of it's kind of fucked over the rest of my life, to be honest. But it's not. It could have been worse. I could have lost the foot. Uh, yeah, it's, you know, it's um, the and that was the worst one, and the second and final one, which kind of ruined another dream of mine. Uh, I have, I'm essentially legally blind, but I'm not blind enough where I can't see, I'm blind enough where essentially uh, I can't drive trains, which was a, which was my career, I was a train driver in training, and that career had to end because uh, basically I have a form of glaucoma in one of my eyes, but it's n it's not like gonna cause me to have to get chemo or anything, It's j it's just... I can't really describe it the way the optometrist explained it to me was you have glaucoma but you have the the, the lowest form of it to the point where it presses on like your uh, my optical nerve so I can't really do anything that requires long periods of concentration but I should be fine driving. I just can't drive trains or anything like that or trucks. So that's my tale of woe. That's a big Damn. bummer. Yeah. I mean, I, I kind of moved on. I've kind of learned to accept it now. Uh, can't really complain about life, to be honest. It could have been worse. Yeah. 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 I wanted to bring some levity, but uh, it might sound a little bit too insensitive. <laughs> I mean, there's not really any levity you can bring to it. I've just moved on and I've accepted it. Like, uh, I have a very good career now and. My life isn't impacted by anything, any injuries, so it's just. I mean, you can uh, move, what it is. Move, move around and do things, you know, be, yeah, be I a can functional walk. adult still. I mean, yeah, I can walk and it, it doesn't. The only time it aches is in the, is in the winter because it's cold. I get little, I get little aches in my foot, but once I kind of double up on socks on that foot, it's fine. Yeah, don't worry about it. Like just being in your thirties just means pain all the time. Let's <laughs> see, not really. You don't yeah, really but, have a, a disadvantage there. Yeah, could have been. It could have been worse. Some people are out here missing limbs, and some people are out here, you know, they've got terrible diseases. So I kind of, I kind of got lucky to be honest. Oh, dude. And I got, I got a anecdote about that. Like one of my neighbors uh, is missing a, a phalanx. His finger, his pinky finger is like half gone because he got it caught in a metallurgy accident. Um, it sounds like the, the story of the beginning of heavy metal, but no, this actually, it went to um, uh, uh, one of those recovery groups for people that, that happen, uh, that did get uh, those same kind of accidents. And he was so bummed out about it, like missing half of his pinky finger. It's like, oh no, my whole life is gonna change now. And he looks at all the other people, and they're missing entire arms and legs and eyes <laughs> and shit. And and they're in really fucking rough shape. And meanwhile, he's looking at his pinky, 
Yeah, yeah, that, like... that man needs some <laughs> fucking that man needs some fucking levity in his life to be honest. <laughs> and uh, yeah, like it changes perspective. It's like it's not so bad. And then he just stopped worrying about it. Yeah, I'm crippled legally, so I win. <laughs> Do you get any kind of benefits from that? At least, leech the government. I could, I could get benefits, but I make too much money. Ah, to, fuck, to, yeah. To be, to be entitled to benefits. I wouldn't yeah. claim for it anyway, because it doesn't really... It doesn't affect uh, office career prospects. It only affects uh, professional driving or anything like that. Yeah. Well, okay, all of those things um, are things that people aren't able to do, even though they have all the shit so that is like the uh, same thing wait i don't know if it's the same like I, I have a friend that wanted to be an astronaut but uh she got Crohn's disease so no dice yeah and yeah, same thing like that like being an astronaut already is like you're one degree or 0.1 percent away from being like in um, peak physical condition and already like no get the fuck out well if you hesitate you a little they, they keep <laughs> oh. you just have to work hard at what you, what you want to do to be honest i mean she could have been an astronaut yeah. she want, uh, obviously she can't because she's got Crohn's. but if she didn't have Crohn's, i think i think she would have probably been an astronaut because if you want something bad enough you'll work towards it um it would have been a oh, that's a good way case for me i I always wanted to be a fat, greasy uh, Twitch streamer. Oh, there you go, oh, well done. <laughs> <laughs> Look, yeah, let's go. Look, I fucking made it, Mom. I made it. <laughs> Thank you, man. I mean, I'm I'm right there beside you, man. Like, I, <laughs> I just wanted to be an artist. The fuck so off my turf. Be... That's my dream. Okay, go get your own. <laughs> I mean, I. <laughs> <laughs> I could, I could do without the fat and greasy, but like, man, uh, that's where I am. Uh, I would read what Schindler said, but most of it's just making uh, fun of Luke's injury. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, I don't oh, yeah, yeah, I don't even have to. Uh, well, if I had to count on Schindler on, on making fun of injury, if I had to give Schindler a little bit of a counterpoint, um, you know what? I'm going to be the better person. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> Uh, Schindler yeah. says, how the fuck? Then, here it comes, he said, had to throw the whole foot away. Chrome the fuck up, Choom. Uh, ah, so you got a waddle on that foot then, yeah? Oh man, could have gotten a cool robotic foot in today's age. Missed out, man. Lamau. Oh, dude. If, you, if we had the fucking the cyberpunk and the Deus Ex, um robotic parts like would you would you wear those things no get crumbed no. up <laughs> well, but they're better though just a temporary solution to a long-term problem i mean yeah if you're not adam jensen then yes <laughs> but if it were if, if it was like after the the human revolution in the game and everybody was just able to buy better body parts would you get those and there says i'm not making fun of him the way you read it made it sound like i was though <laughs> but you ended in lamau like what the fuck <laughs> like what, what else does that mean maybe, maybe it was a like a uh, hints of lamau yeah. you know <laughs> it's kind of like how when people are in a stressful situation sometimes they'll like laugh or chuckle a bit you know oh, i do that like uh Thanks for telling me about how your mom has cancer. <laughs> it's oh my like, oh, what am I supposed to oh, do? You know? As as a famous man named Keemstar once said, Shinlar, I'll, my rebuttal to you would be, can't wait to report your death. Huh? Let me ask you a question, Luke. Um, okay. Would you rather be uh, pitied greatly or made fun of? If it came uh, down. Made, fu made fun of because I do not fucking like pities. If, so, if anyone ever gives me pity, I'd be really upset. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, I do not fucking believe in pitying people. That, that's that's what gets me too. It's like, 
Oh, I'm so, so sorry that happened. Uh, man, are, are you okay? It's like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, like, uh, uh, I suppose I should have told this your mouth. I don't, cause I, I don't really find this funny, but everyone else found it funny. I was at one of my aunt's funerals, right? Yeah. And it was an aunt I was really close to, and all the family like were really upset and stuff. And I get really awkward at funerals, right? Because I think funerals should be a celebration of life rather than feeling sorry for yourself that your that your relatives yeah. died. It's yeah, about nice. them, not you. Um, yeah. But so basically, we're at, at my aunt's funeral. Um, everyone was like getting up to talk, and I got asked to go up to talk, uh, give like a little bit of a you know eulogy on her because I was very close to her. Yeah. And I stood up and I was like, oh. Oh, my aunt, I won't say her name. I was like, man, oh, she, she was a wonderful woman. She was a very charitable woman. Uh, she's so charitable, in fact, that uh, she's left me half of her estate and I looked at Georgia and I went, right, guys? Uh, and then I kept going and I said some other <laughs> soppy shit. I was trying to cover up the comedy bits. I was, I was like, I was like, uh, yeah, she, you know, she, li she lived as she died, you know, she lived, she, she like, she kind of was doing what she loved and it, it's, it's unfortunately that we've lost her this young. But, I mean, <laughs> let's be honest, I mean, where else was she going to go for a career anyway? I mean, it was, it was, in, it was in the toilet anyway, and uh, I laughed a little bit. Oh my uh, god. <laughs> and uh, no one else laughed. And uh, I, looked the, over, I looked over, and our children, were, our, our children were giving me the evil eyes, and I just kind of moved along a little bit, and then at the end of the speech, I was basically like, in closing, I know I've told a few little jokes here today, but, I mean... You know, this this is what she this is what she would have wanted. So if I've offended anyone, I'd like to apologize. Uh, but just to just to close this off, she was a very caring woman. She's left her children behind, um, and it's it's very sad that this has all happened. But fortunately, um, you know, she she left she left me or uh, one of her cars and her will. So I really appreciate that. Thank you. Big up. Respect. And then I walked I walked off the podium. <laughs> Drop the mic. Uh, my mother gave me a talking to that day. A very big talking to. <laughs> what the? And, and, I, and this was me. Like, I was 25 at the time, so I wasn't a kid. And my mother was like, she was like, you fuck it. She, she, I never heard her really swear that much from her. You fucking it. Why would you say that? And I was like, I, I was trying to make, I was trying to make light of the situation. And bro, I shit you not. All of my cousins uh, came into like the back area where everyone was like filling out. And they were fucking in tears. And they were like, Yo, that was the fucking funniest thing I've ever had in my life. <laughs> everyone was laughing everyone's laughing around me but like the older people in the family because i guess generation they're a generational barrier or something everybody yeah. who was like around my age were laughing and saying that's what she would have wanted but the rest of the people like cousins and stuff were my age they were absolutely like in tears you think it's because uh the older generation realizes that they're probably next you know i think it's the the time. I think what it is, they, want. Um, they have a different idea of respect, and I think they felt yes. that I was being disrespectful when I wasn't. I was doing what she literally asked me to do at our funeral. It was not to make it a pity party, to make it a celebration of life, and that's what I did. But the older people were like, you can't do that at funerals. You can't do that. That's di it's, it's disrespectful, everyone's upset. So, I think you just have a different idea of respect, to be honest. I but never agree too. with the boomer idea of respect. Yeah, I didn't really care to be honest that the mother was upset at me. I just I was like, oh, we're gonna have to disagree, agree to disagree on this. I mean, it's what she would have wanted, and you're saying that you it wasn't funny. I mean, that's that okay. You don't find that funny, but she would have. So, so yeah. Yeah. Oh, she don't get to say shit. Fuck those people. Okay. Fantastic. <laughs> very it's like proud an animatronic. Of... Very proud yeah, of it. Yeah. Don't don't comment on my art. Okay? <laughs> you don't make me depressed. <laughs> I'm saying it looks like an animatronic. Oh I saw a bite. Look at this. Don't say that. Bad. Five Nights what? at Fabby's. Uh, Is this where you want to yeah, be? Yeah, that's literally what they told they told uh, Scott Coffin. Yeah. With his they told him, like, you fucking the 3D models look like creepy fucking animatronics. And he was like Really? He said, oh, money? Don't mind if I do? Hey. Yeah. I like them making Just put a top part on her. What the fuck? Oh, dude. What a temporary role. Would that be epic? Oh, shit. You just gave me a good idea for epic my monkey AF. OC. 
What if it was a a monkey magician? <laughs> okay. I kind of like that idea. Oh, everyone, keep your eyes on the banana. Keep he has like a little banana. vest or something like that. That'd be that'd be epic. Hamburger. Yes. Also you, know what's, you know what's fun? You know what's really fun about not, the, having uh, bipolar and not knowing you have it? And being at a funeral? <laughs> I start laughing uncontrollably. <laughs> Shit. And everybody thinks I'm being disrespectful and I just think of the, the funniest fucking shit. You want to know what it was? It was your... Uh... Your fucking huh? Joker on the train moment. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was literally it. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, what's so funny, clown? <laughs> so funny, and then just hand them the card. <laughs> that, that was no, that was the problem. I didn't have a card because I didn't have know. I just thought I was literally being an asshole. I was like, oh, is this how I find out I'm a fucking psychopath? <laughs> that, that is kind of a scary thing scary thing to think about that it's like you know if you have that and you're doing that kind of behavior it's like oh shit am i actually i'm mentally unwell yeah, am i am i an asshole oh man like yeah i did have that that thought luckily times. you were mentally unwell huh? but not in a psychopath way yeah <laughs> had a had a way of uh managing that at least look at Fantastic. Welcome to Digital Circus. Welcome to the <laughs> Digital Monkey Circus. Thank you. It's hey, showtime. All right, that's gonna be it for the stream, everybody. Miller has any Ooh. final comments? He says, "Good monkey, just put a top hat on her." Pulls a banana out of the hat. What mm -hmm. else would it be, Shenlar? What, would, what else should, would she pull out of the hat? That's a quote-unquote banana. What are you even saying, Shenlar? Think she would just pull oh. out a disembodied cock or something? wrong with you yeah <laughs> it's a big wiggly cock a dk emblem <laughs> a D <laughs> Ooh, a you don't get the oh shit you don't get the n64 emblem from the from that you get it from clearing the fucking donkey kong arcade stupid okay don't care. get oh. schooled on schindler oh my god Fucking there is no DK emblem. Excuse me, I show you the emblem. It's a rare and the Nintendo emblem. You gotta get them by playing the Nintendo rare classic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fox, I hope you get crippled. Uh. <laughs> Damn. All right. Well, that's it, everybody. Uh, thanks for watching yes. my art stream. Yeah, Luke, wait, quick question. Luke. Huh? Cool. I was talking to you last night about a movie. What was it? It was a oh, movie you uh, watched as a kid. Fuck. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't remember. I don't fucking remember either. I, I was going to watch that for the uh, late stream tonight. I need, I need, I need more than uh, you talked about a movie. If you kept the, do you remember it now? I don't know. Oh, there, it, it was uh, something was that the that, 1930s movie that you were talking about? No. no. Uh, Maybe what, yeah, last it, night. it was something that me and Luke watched as a kid. Growing up or something. Oh. Uh, uh, that could be any <laughs> any kind of movie. I'll need to go figure that one out. I don't know. I wonder if I can watch. Uh, was it ten ways to eat worms or something? Was it? <laughs> the one name. Oh, are we talking about holes? Holes, that's it. Yeah, I want to watch that, but classic. I don't know if Disney would fucking. No, I want just take the copyright strike. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> let, let me go see if it's on you. We'll be like, oh, beautiful. I fucking love holes. Uh, and I love the movie holes as well. 
back here. Look like any <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'll, I'll, I'll I just process what you say. <laughs> I'll, I'll leave off the stream with a very terrible joke. Are you ready? Uh -huh. A Good man one. is getting a checkup, right? And the doctor says, "You have to stop masturbating." <laughs> the man says, "Why?" And the doctor says, "Because I'm trying to examine you." <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>